One other big story this week, I think will be very big tomorrow, are these so-called Extinction mm. Rebellion protesters who are determined to bring all of central London to a halt. There's a, a piece in the Mail on Sunday interviewing, going undercover and talking to them all the rest of it. The question, I suppose, is, is this basically the same group as were involved in Occupy, you may remember, yeah. after the financial crash? Well, that, or is that, this a totally different That piece suggests that some of the organisers are the same people. Um, but the two aren't, you know, the Extinction Rebellion is all about making sure that we finally put climate change top of the agenda, of mm -hmm. the political agenda. And boy, does it need to happen. And, you know, we've seen young people come out in protest. You know, this is something that really should be right there at the top, and it's not. So I shall have some sympathy for what they're trying mm -hmm. to do. But that sort of anti-capitalist movement, actually there's a point about that. If we're not going to decarbonise our economy, if we're not going to do capitalism differently in a way that delivers, you know, this is why the Green New Deal is so popular, then that's when we're going to face a problem. We've got a to change fundamentally how we do enough, it. You know? No, absolutely right. Oh. No, nor is plastic bags, straws, cotton buds, it's all, these are small things. But what we need is one. systemic change and that's what they're talking about. But I have some sympathy. But you have this whole kind of post-Blue Planet revolution in this country where I think UK citizens are doing their level best. There's been a huge campaigns in the media about anti-plastic, trying to behave better. Mm -hmm. I appreciate the more macro picture of national government doing more. And yet still worldwide, 90% of our rubbish isn't recycled. So there is this sense from general public point of view, are going about their daily business, trying to put things in the right bins, being thwarted by people who, I appreciate the Mail on Sunday loves to expose the kind of middle class trustafarian past of a lot of these activists. Yeah. But there is a bit of a sense of irony. There are normal people going about their daily business trying to be good but and yet these people basically trying to stand in everyone's way and cause mass damage. But th this is about making people stop in the, in the street as it were and think differently and yes. therefore what they want to do is cause as big a jolt to daily life but as people possible. people are thinking differently. People I have been thinking, no, my I mean, children think, think a lot differently you know, to our right. generation. Like throwing a baked bean at a okay. rhino as I think okay. <laughs> Patrick Moore once put it. Very very quickly the other thing people are going to be talking about early next week is Game of Thrones. Uh -huh.